Good day. In this short video, we're going to quickly explain what the six different channels are for what's now called Microsoft 365 apps, formerly Office 365 apps. And we're also, and this is really the point of this video, going to show you how to change it. You can see that we have two articles here. Uh, one we're going to go through right now and one we'll go through in just a moment. This one's going to be very fast. We're going to rip through the different features of the six different types. And then we're going to show you how to install and change the version that's running on your machine via command line Windows Terminal PowerShell. But we're going to do it on Windows 11 because that's what we're running. So very quickly, Microsoft has renamed its channels again, and currently we are running on the beta channel and it's working just fine. The biggest issue with that is it is not supported by Microsoft. This is the version that comes out about every week. Then there's a current channel, a preview. That's the version that comes out a month or so before it gets released to the general public, which is the current channel. Then there are these other uh, products, which is the monthly enterprise, semi-annual enterprise, and semi uh, preview, and semi-annual enterprise channel. So let's very quickly explain what those are. These two are roughly the same. Monthly enterprise channel, the only difference is the, well, the main difference is that the current channel can be released at any time, and the monthly enterprise channel is released on Patch Tuesday, second Tuesday of each month. There's also a little support difference for companies, but we'll leave that alone for now. The next thing is this uh, annual, semi-annual enterprise channel preview. And basically that's the version that comes out a month or two before the semi-annual enterprise channel. And that lets uh, admins and other people play with it to make sure that their plugins and things are going to work before they roll it over to, to their companies. Now, the semi-annual enterprise channel, that is the slowest release. That's the one that comes out every January and July. And its big thing is that it's supported for 14 months, which allows companies to upgrade, say, once a year and not disrupt their staff, right? It's a smoother way to go. So typically, that's the one I do. I, I typically roll out the July update in August. Those are the six different channels, and those are the new names. Let's go back, and we'll now get right into how to change. It's not very hard, but it has changed, especially in Windows 11, because we're now using Windows Terminal rather than PowerShell or the command interpreter, CMD. Here are the new names. What we're going to do right now is show you how to change it via Terminal. So first, let's just launch Word. Nice blank document. And let's go to File and Account. And you'll see here, this is running the beta channel right here. We want to change that down. Actually, we don't, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to. <laughs> so in Windows 11, right click on the Start button. Windows 10, you'd right click on the Start button as well. And in Windows 11, you choose Windows Terminal Admin. In Windows 10, if you're not running Windows Terminal, you would run PowerShell. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. If you're not familiar with uh, Windows Terminal, it's the next iteration of PowerShell and it does a lot more than just PowerShell. It is to PowerShell what PowerShell was to command line. It does almost all of the PowerShell stuff, but it does an awful lot more. First thing you need to do is change into the click to run directory. So, done. Next thing we need to do is tell it which channel we want to run. So, let's go into that, but I don't want to run the beta. I'm already on the beta, that doesn't serve much purpose. Let's change it to, actually, I haven't seen the monthly enterprise one. That's the new one. So let's change off to that and see what that one does. So we'll just go over here and I will change that. Boom. Now what we need to do is force an update. Now you could wait and uh, reboot and eventually this would just kick in, uh, but you don't want to do that. Uh, nobody wants to wait anymore. So the 
command is that one. And it's pretty much English if you look at it. So you just paste that in. And you'll see the little orange window will pop up. There it is. Telling you it's downloading files. And you can keep working. We're not going to make you wait while this is running. We're just going to leave this running in the background. So while we're waiting, we'll show you the other ways to change. If it's not finished by the time I'm done talking, we will then skip through the rest of it so you don't have to sit and wait. So that's the that's the way to change it right now. Second way to change it is through the uh, is through group policy. Basically, get the latest templates, go into the uh, policy, which is, here's the path for right admin templates. And yes, it's still called uh, 2016 in the admin templates. Go into the update and change it to whatever uh, item you want. Next is to change it through the admin center. Now the admin center. Look, here, here's a shot of it. Okay, so I've already done this. You go into settings, org, uh, on the services tab, go into your install uh, office installation options and set what you want. You notice a couple of things here. One, there's only three. Okay, that's where the rest. Well, you've only got three there. The second thing, and this is the most important, is this will have no impact whatsoever on existing installations. It will only affect new installations. So that's probably not really what you're looking for. And the next way to do it, of course, is through the office deployment tool. So you go go get the ODT and on products and releases section there's a drop down here which shows you the shows you whatever channel you want to use just select it all right now we're going to skip through the rest of this we're going to advance quickly so you don't have to sit and wait hee-haw it's done so I'll click close and then let's launch Mr. Word again And look at that monthly enterprise channel. He freaking ha. All right. Now, in my case, I'm going to change back. So I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> yes, I am. So I'm going to change to. Is it beta? I think it's beta. Beta channel. OK, I'm just going to copy paste it. Bingo. Okay, then I'll force update user again, and that'll change it again. Okay, look, if you click like, we'd really appreciate it. It helps a lot with the Google algorithm. Uh, also subscribe, super helpful. We do a lot of this kind of stuff, as you can see from our website. And if you have any questions, just put them in the uh, comment section below. We'd love to, uh, to get back to you. We typically do within a day or so. And you can always get a hold of us at this site, www.urtech.ca. And that's that. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.